Um, we can probably raise military spending. Uh, oh yeah, we can, although this is more important. Okay, that's fine. We can probably raise education. Good. We can probably even raise administration a bit. All right. Already, Norway is making, uh, as they say, uh, buku bucks. As they say. And let's uh, let's let's add some horses. We want what? The ones with the most recon, which is hussars. Do we want one or two? I think it's just one, right? And then we want an engineer. But we don't can't get an engineer yet, so I'll just add like an infantry. Just you know, whatever. That's fine. I think that's right. Now we start looking for our next target. We can't really take another African country, even if we wanted to, because it would be a 15, unless we wait for our 5 to go down, which might end up happening. We're already a secondary power, which is pretty fucking good. Just because of our war... Basically just because of our prestige, but our military power is okay. It's, you know, like a third of some of these big boys. Actually, holy shit, why is the UK military strength so low? Did they lower the numbers in this mod? Did they make another just fucking... Bizarro choice. Did did the UK just get displaced? Was Russia just... No, they weren't. No, that, that didn't happen. This is flipping around like... Uh. I see you're playing Norway. How far are you into the game? Pretty early. Like five years in. Seven years in, I think. Uh, but we've already taken over two little pieces of Africa and added millions of people to our population. Now, they're not actually like, you know, real population, but but they're uh, they'll do. There are nor no Norwegian people here, except 0.2%, it seems. Yeah, we'll get on that later. How smart? Too smart. Too smart. Our people are too smart again. Last place here needs to get smart. They're already pretty smart. Won't take long at all. We'll probably miss it again and fuck it up. We can change some shit here. Um, this seems a little different, but maybe exactly the same. Hard to tell. They might have just rearranged it. Do we want any of this shit? Is the question. Political rights. We have restricted rights. Or we can do cultural rights. Which would increase assimilation. Which is not bad. Do we have any movements? Oyo nationalists. Almost a million. You know how many people there are in Oyo? About that many. In fact... Yeah. No, basically everyone who exists in Oyo wants out. That's fine. They're not violent about it yet. Um, reform the local government. I'm not really sure what that would do, so I'm just... Just ignore it. I don't think we want to do any of these. Unless we... I don't think we're going to get more immigration or anything like that. I don't think, uh... Encourage reactionary party loyalty. I will. Because that's smart. I'll do that, but first we need to make... We're... Oh, excuse me. We're almost at smart enough. No draft? <laughs> no. No, I don't think so. Um, yeah, I don't think we need any of this. We'll just save this decision for later when people get really mad at us and we need to pacify them with a decision. Would a mix of JoJo and Persona 5 music get copyright strike? Almost certainly not. Because I know Persona 5 doesn't. And most remixes don't. JoJo could go either way, but I think you're probably fine. Because Japanese shit is surprisingly... Some of that more popular Japanese shit will get me flagged. But I think you're fine with that one. Thanks for asking, I guess. Um, right. We need to... Our, we're building the naval base there. We need to build another one here. We can't build forts here because we need... Because jungle. Right. But you know what might be nice? We do have some money. That's called Hammerfest? Is this really called Hammerfest? Like, literally spelt like a festival of hammers? Um, oh, probably we can't build forts anywhere in Norway because it's all... It's just one big mountain. We can build forts down here. The part where it sort of levels out. Um, this seems like a good spot. Right on the border with Sweden. And the rest of these, I mean, I guess it's one of those situations where, like, why the fuck not? We have a lot of money. Actually, now we don't. Yeah, actually, now we don't. You know what? Put a naval base here. And we'll wait. We'll wait a bit now. Yes, there is a place called Hammerfest. Yeah, that's pretty fucking metal. At least, it sounds like it, but I assume probably no one lives here, right? Um, do I want to let some Norwegians... I mean, not Norwegians. <laughs> some Yorubans die. 
Uh, yes, yes, absolutely. Mexican thaw. Mexico is no longer a dictatorship. They're just Mexico. They're a republic. They're a secondary power. Is Mexico better than us? 14, 13. We're just above Mexico, which puts things in perspective, I guess. It's actually a little depressing to say it like that. Say that out loud. Norway is just barely better than Mexico. But you know what? At this time period, Mexico was doing all right. They were a force to be reckoned with. You know, kind of. So, okay. Sure. Hammerfest is where all Norwegians go to for some drunken good times because there's literally fucking nothing else to do 90% of the time. Hmm. The more you know. Interesting. I'm learning so many things about the great country of Norway. I like the pictures they have up here. It looks nice. I've seen fucking pictures of Norway, too. It, it looks... I, I've actually always wanted to visit Norway. There's a, there's a lot of European countries I'd like to visit, but there's also a lot of them that I no longer want to visit. UK, I'm kind of indifferent about now. I mean, sort of the stuff up north I'd still like to visit. I never want to go to London in the rest of my fucking life, I'll tell you that right now. But, you know, I'd like to go to some of the stuff up north. Scotland might be nice. The, the non-heroin parts. I don't know if there are not in heroin parts. France, again, some of the major cities. I'd never want to go to Paris. I'll tell you that right now. Never want to go fucking up here either. That's Calais? <laughs> yeah, right. Some of the south part maybe, though. But Norway is just like, yeah, I'd love to go to Norway. 10% of the population dies. Or people gain militancy because they don't like the quarantine. But maybe less people will die. Sure. New research. Um, education, no, that's fine. Ideological thought. No, maybe some railroads. We could use more money, actually. We're not doing, like, amazing on money. So maybe some farming, coal, iron, and precious metals. We do have some of those things. Although this would give me more coal and iron. Which is more of the kind of thing we have. I mean, we have fishing. We have fish. But I don't think there's much technology that improves fish, except maybe navy. <laughs> there might be something around here that actually improves fishing. I don't know. None of these seem like they're going to help with fishing, but I will do this. There's anything else big that we need, right? I'm not missing something. Tax efficiency, I guess, is nice. Influence we don't necessarily need yet. That also does iron and shit, but that... Yeah, I think we're gonna go, uh... The puddling process. Why not Prague, Goy? You can fuck some Czech whores. I hear... I don't know. Uh... Death Grips Fireflies? This is an, inter an interesting one. That... Yeah, no, that's... No, that's an interesting one. That's... Okay. There's a population of about 5.5 million and only- and most of those live in Oslo, Bergen, Stavanger, or Trondheim? Trond I can't say any of these things, I'm just, uh, guessing randomly at what the pronunciation might be. The whole country is 5.5 million? Yeah, that's pretty low. That's pretty- that's pretty low. Uh, romanticist mu- You know, there's actually a- Distinct possibility that we might reach more than that just, you know, before the game ends, you know, here. Also, yeah, we need our next target. Do we want to take Ache? Probably could. We've got an okay amount of population. They've got some interesting little things. It'd be nice. You know what? Maybe let's make, let's sort of work our way over. Because I've made the mistake before a lot with boats of just having nowhere to put our fucking boats as we work our way over. So maybe next we take Madagascar, right? We'd have to demand a concession, which sucks. We could do that, though. Which, it means we'd have to cut them in half. Um, but the southern part has coal. Yeah, I remember that. We've done this before. And you know what? I like coal. Now at 7 p.m. Yeah. <laughs> thanks. Thanks for the thanks for the sub again. Yeah. Now it's now it's 7 p.m. So now people now people will start showing up. I'm sorry, I got the times wrong. Uh, daylight savings and shit like that is stupid. And I have not adjusted my schedule for it. So I might- I don't work. Just, you know, like, like... Except for during the summer. So, like, it, daylight savings basically, it might as well not exist for me. Yeah, let's take over this part of Madagascar. Unless we want something over here. Maybe. 
Nah, we'll take Madagascar. But yeah, so like, I I might just start streaming earlier now, like an hour earlier, because I don't fucking want to, uh... I don't want to change my schedule just because some fucking asshole decides that I need an hour more of daylight. I live in the fucking desert. I don't need an hour more of daylight, okay? Okay, let's move over here. Let's please. Daylight savings is in March. Well, then why the fuck is my time off? Did I move? Did I fucking change my clock? I don't understand. Honestly, this is baffling to me. I've never understood daylight savings because I've never worked. No, I've worked, but but like it it I never worked for very long. <laughs> they were never jobs that lasted more than a year. Well, no, that's not necessarily true. I don't know how. I don't actually know what is different this time. I look at my phone right now and it says eight o'clock. All right. Why? I don't understand it. We can all hear of the song as MC Ride, so the gimmick of it being Fireflies doesn't work. <laughs> well, the problem is they didn't mix their volume levels very loud, because MC Ride is really loud, and the uh, Firefly part isn't. Good shit, I live in a small village in the middle of Norway with a population of 400 people. That's pretty... Sounds pretty nice, actually. We got 20 infamy already. Well, you know, that's fine. It happens. Don't need all those city folk. Yeah, I agree. Unfortunately, I live in the city right now because I because I I promised Dalton I would uh, be his roommate. If I wasn't Dalton's roommate right now, I'd probably be living up in the fucking Pacific Northwest right now because now that I have a job working in Alaska every summer, I I don't I can live. Really anywhere I fucking want and have a guaranteed job pretty fucking nice by the way So I'd be up somewhere a lot colder. I, I, I don't like the desert in particular. I Mean I know none of you have seen what I look like But if you looked at me you would probably think like that is a man who would not survive in the desert That is a big man covered in hair like not built for the desert. It's just- I'm just not. Let's start taking our shit over. Also, weeb shit has returned. I mean, we've been, we played a little bit of Japanese shit before this, but this is weeb shit. I mean, there's a difference. Minor one. A big guy. Well, I've never been a small guy, I'll tell you that. I used to be fat, now I'm just big. Jim helps with that one. It's good. How about you get the infamy above 25 so you can become the bad boy of the world? Uh, how about no? Because that didn't very- we- When we were the confederacy and we were a great power that could actually take on a lot of the world, it didn't go well then. Are you a big guy? And if so, who for? Do you want me to actually say it? For you. Are you happy? Okay, Madagascar's about to fucking die. We actually got a lot of fucking infamy from that. I figured it out. You live in Las Vegas. Well, I can neither confirm nor deny. Again, I will say this. Um, I think I've mentioned... Be well, no, no. I'm, I'm, I can neither confirm nor deny. I can confirm that Las Vegas is a shitty city. And if, in fact, I do live in Las Vegas, I hate it. And it's, you know, it's sort of a degenerate sort of place, but I will not actually confirm if that is the place in which I live. But I will confirm that I do have experience with Las Vegas. Too poor for that. I've got that salmon money, though. You gotta remember, don't underestimate salmon money. I'm actually not that. I actually am kind of poor, though. You're not wrong. They've already given up. Okay, Madagascar is a pussy. Seems like all these African places that don't ha that have stuff to spare are just big pussies. But okay, perfect. Um, let's set our uh, let's put our naval base here. No particular reason. In fact, might not even be a good idea. Might be a real bad idea, but you know what? We're full of them. So it's it's really not it's whatever. Now I've got, uh, South Madagascar. For some reason, it doesn't say Norwegian South- Oh, right, because we own all of South Madagascar. Okay, well, another part of, of, of Norwegian Africa. Another piece of population to, uh, completely clash with the rest of our population, which is quickly becoming a minority. Nor 
Norwegians are only 14% of the, uh, of the population now. How does it feel, Norway? But it's fine. Um, they're not, like, really citizens, you know what I mean? They don't vote or anything. Why is Gaza in the south of Africa? That's a different Gaza. <laughs> There's the Gaza Strip. This is just a country that at one point, I guess, was named Gaza. It doesn't exist now, so. Okay, someone again? Again. It's a funny joke. Someone again just posted a YouTube video that I have put up. As in me playing a game, just my voice instead of music. I mean, it's funny, but on the other hand, really? <laughs> really? Okay. What is this? Kingdom Hearts? Mo All of these games I have not played. I think I've told the story before. I've only played Kingdom Hearts 2. Um, because, I don't know, I was a kid and I didn't care about the first one. I was like, fuck, whatever. A friend of mine's got Kingdom Hearts. He's willing to let me borrow it. Let's get engineers. We did, definitely need that. Uh, I'll play it. Got all the way to the final boss. The final boss of the game. And then the disc could not be read. So I don't know what happens in Kingdom Hearts 2. I would have forgotten by now anyway, I'm sure. But I don't, I don't fucking know. I have no idea what happens. Let's make some more transports. And the other games, I mean, I'm not that... I'm not like, you know... I'm not autistic enough to get real interested in Kingdom Hearts. It seems okay. We're about to become a great power, by the way. Um, that was about the easiest... Who said that... Who said that fucking Norway couldn't do this? This is easy. Norway's gonna fucking rule the world soon. I love how autistic they are. That's the reason why I've kind of been considering playing them. Oh, you're saying best series because of how autistic they are. I've considered playing them just because it seems like it'd be fun how autistic they are. And also, I, the gameplay looks okay in some of the later ones. I'm not really sure about that. But, uh, yeah, I never got around to it. Especially since none of them are on PC. And I don't own anything that's not a PC anymore. Because, as we've established, I'm not, I'm not rich. Although I did spend the money on other shit things, like, you know, a new PC. But, that's important. I needed that. It let's me render things faster. It let's me render those videos I never put out for my edited stuff. Trade policy, okay. Cabinet discusses trade policy. While the ruling party has its own broad trade policy, there are several schools of economic thought competing. Competing, competing for space. This is a great mod. In the government, adopting a trade policy will take away some of the flexibility in setting tariffs, but it will allow for a more efficient trade collection and pos or tariff collection, possibly other benefits over what a volatile tariff policy might have. Okay. External commerce should be free. Smithianism, less maximum tariff, more efficiency. Africa gotchi moochie. Good shit. No trade policy or never bother me with this again. I kind of like the idea of just more... Oh, no, wait. Our tariffs are maximally effective right now. So, no. Fuck off. But not permanently. Let me up this a little bit. Although, wait. This is just Africa so far, which is, is going to get me fucked. I'm not going to stop it because I like it. But, I mean, so far, this is, this is just Africa. It won't get me fucked that much, but... We are now a great power. What is that? Fucking 10 years and we're a great power? Somebody said this was going to be hard. You still can't expand in Europe. Yeah, not yet. I mean, look at our army. Okay, 15 brigades. Look at Sweden's. 11. Can't expand in Europe. What's about Denmark? 7. And I'm protected by the UK. Okay, I can't really do that. We're strong. <laughs> Ooh. Good one. Good. Good remix. You could always emulate the games. Pretty sure PS2 emulators are okay by now. I think they're okay. Yeah, I think they're alright. But I don't know. Never emulated PS2 games. Own a huge collection of them physically. Yeah, I don't. I, I didn't have a PS2 until... No, I did have a PS2 for a while. But I didn't have that many games for it. I didn't have a lot of games in general, actually. There are a lot of, like, classic games that I've missed because I was poor. 
which now I want to like go back and play. And instead we sit around playing the same game. Sphere of the Nordic Countries. Oh right, yeah, we're... You, thank you. Thank you for saying that. I, I, this is another thing that we should have learned from last time, but we may, might not have. Is, uh, we should actually fucking sphere things when we become a great, great power. So, we could sphere Sweden. We could also just kill Sweden. Mm, now, although there is something here. There's the, uh... Where is it? The Kalmar Union. Which I think implies that we only need... Wait, wait. Scandinavia. Yeah, don't we only need them in Sphere? Um... Is a puppet... Is not subject... Is not Norway... B -b 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 no, I think you need them better than Sphere. I might Sphere something else then. I think I'll just Sphere some European powers or... Like Switzerland. Who has a puppet of Nuch... What? What the fuck is that? Is that some tiny little country? Ay, ay, ay. Okay, whatever. Fine. Sure. Have your autistic little countries. We're gonna take Switzerland, I think. I think that sounds like a good idea. Also, build forts. Yes, okay. I will. I'm waiting for us to get a little bit more money. Although, we've got a good amount now. Okay. I also need to build more naval bases. When we have the ability to. Um, I think we can build one up here, for instance. No? No, because it's Alpine Tundra. Nope. <laughs> nope. Can't do that. Alright, let's build some forts down here. Fort building there. Building there. We can't build one there. Can't build one in any of those. Okay. <laughs> it's just Africa, but with screaming. Build some forts. I mean, might as well, right? We've got money to spare. We know how the game works now. Build some forts. Good shit. Okay. Allisund? Where's the... Uh, I don't... Why did it... What did I... Huh? What? This? A? Yeah. <laughs> Are you saying because they didn't use the right character? Yeah. Well, it, I mean, yeah, they use this fucking... This fucking thing. But they don't use the right A. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. You know why? You know why? Because this is Swedish. The developers are sweet are Swedish. So they're fucking... They go all out for the fucking Swedish names. But when it comes to Norwegian names, they're like, <laughs> fucking Norwegians. Because, I mean, there's a famous rivalry there, right? What? Bayonetta 2 has a Moon River remix in it? Or is this just a... What? This is good! Form Scandinavia. Maybe. Taking over the Swedes would be neat. Eh? <laughs> eh? I don't think that's what you intended there. But eh? I really like this fucking remix. Would you be able to stream emulated games since you don't buy them? Well, you don't know that I don't own a legitimate copy of any of the games I'm emulating, okay? Also, yeah, no one fucking cares. People stream emulated games all the time. I don't think I've ever seen anyone stream pirated games, though. Including myself, obviously. I'm not... <laughs> I would never. Um, there was something here that I remembered. I was thinking, like, this will be good to get. We could use... Oh, right, right. We want diplomatic influence. Normally, I don't go for that very early. But, uh, I'd like to actually get some shit sphered. 10% is not bad. I like this version. I mean, the original version's still a classic, but... Are you 80% literate or 4? I'm not really sure what you mean by that. Are those the two options? Also, shit. You're probably talking about, is our country literate enough? And you're, the answer is yes. Um, yeah, we missed that again. Like I said, we would. So now let's start encouraging uh, reactionary. What would happen if the reactionaries t took over? We're already, I guess we would stop being a constitutional monarchy and become like a real monarchy. Norway. Oh, that's beautiful. That, that's good shit. I don't use Twitch beyond watching you, so I wouldn't know. Well, that's flattering. 
Yeah, I don't know. I don't use it much either. Occasionally, there are a couple streamers I'll watch. You know, like, uh, occasionally, I'll, I'll finish streaming, and then Vine Sauce will be streaming, and I'll watch, like, a little bit. I'm not, like, the biggest fan, but, like, if it's Corruptions or something, eh, I'll check it out. Other than that, though, there's not much. Demolition D, also on occasion. Um, Switzerland, please. Sort by priority, Switzerland. Increase opinion. This is going very fast. I like that. Um, we might have low enough infamy now that we could take on another... Take on some Asian country. Take over Atje. It would take... Nope, that's 15. I want Atje. Let's, let's just keep going for a little bit. <laughs> Me. Oh, Gavinator. To be honest, Gavinator, I don't watch your streams, so... I don't think that's a surprise, except that one that we that we did yesterday, where everybody watched it and took over your stream. That was fun. But yeah, I just don't watch many streams in general. There's always something that bugs me about them. I don't know. You know, I'm sure that's probably the case with most of you. And it's just like, uh, uh There's something just a little off, usually. They're a little too, like, autistic, or more often they're a little too... meme -y? Or they're a little too upbeat or something. I don't know. There's always something. They're a little too high-pitched. Or... I don't know the right word for it, really. New male-y would probably be a good way to put it. Ottomans, what the fuck are you doing? Why did you take this part of Egypt? Is that historically accurate? Are these autists at it again? Did they do that? Why would they do that? I mean, they took this, too, which I think is right, but why'd they take... They're, you're a puppet, right? I mean, like... Yeah, okay, whatever, fine, no. Let me take a quick drink. Where's the water? Oh. He complains about the streams being too autistic, but he can stay in chat with me and the Aussie in voice chat. Now that's not that's not necessarily true, because when you two were just yelling at each other, making retard sounds for apparently two hours, I was not there. I only caught the tail end of that one, so... I don't think we've fully tested whether or not I can withstand that. You hit the mark on that list, other than the new male part. Oh. Well, that's the main... I'm, I was just trying to figure out a way to describe what most of these people are. Uh, let's, this increases again, honestly. I'm happy I don't hit the new male part. That's the most important part there. Um, administration up. Everything is maxed out except social spending, but we don't have any. So that means we could lower... Oh, uh, everybody's doing great, so we don't actually need to lower taxes. It is a possibility. Taxless haven? No. If you're not poor, you don't have to pay taxes in Norway. If you are poor, sorry. But you should just stop being poor. Stupid faggot. It's not hard. You just make money. Um, what's our army composition looking like right now? We've got a couple of guys around here. Here's an artillery. Here's a hussar. We've got one, uh, eight and five. Add in another artillery. That's eight and six. So we need two more artillery and another hussar. We can only do two more artillery. Fine. <laughs> Most of your people, you mean? You are a streamer. I don't really consider myself... I don't, I don't really have any sort of connection with streamers. I don't know if I'm I would really say that like I'm part of the fucking streaming community or something. I don't even know anyone else French Revolution. Oh, good. I don't really even know anyone else who streams other than Dalton and I guess Gavinator. Gavinator doesn't speak though in his streams like at all. So, at least as far as I've seen. So, I don't think he could really have any of the new male problems. At least visibly. Um, 
border policy? We'd have to invent state and government? Interesting. Interesting. Close the Norwegian borders? It's an idea. We'll get business regulation first. I like that. Okay. Switzerland. What? No. All. Switzerland. Add to sphere. Already have a country in our sphere of influence. That was really quick. They've got a better industry score than we do because we don't have any industry and we can't build any because we're a stupid fucking democracy. We can't fund them either because we're a stupid fucking democracy. So that's going to stay like that for a while, I think. What else? Sardinia Piedmont. The problem there being that they could become a great power. In fact, did that say they were already number eight? Yeah, no, no. <laughs> they're going to be a great power any second now. Two Sicilies, number nine, similar situation. Uh, Hungary might not exist soon. Greece is a little shit. Uh, China's impossible. Japan is really not going to stay around long term. Korea's taken. Uh, I'm not really sure. Morocco? Something. The Republic of San Marco? They exist? Oh, and neat, I guess. It's a little loud. Let me, uh... Danganronpa V3. Haven't played V3. A lot of music from games I haven't played. Haven't played V3, haven't even played V2. I played the first one, I liked it alright, you know, for that kind of game. It was not bad, actually. Uh, could we get Portugal? No, but we could get Spain. You know, Spain doesn't normally recover back into the uh, great power status, so that actually sounds great. And Delo and what? For fucking Norway? Yeah. You got a problem with fucking Norway? We're doing great. We've already taken over bits of Africa. Tiny, tiny little bits of Africa, but in a nice little chain that'll continue eastward until the sun never sets on Norway. Probably Aceh is next. We just need to uh, lower this a bit. And while we're at it, you know, we'll sphere some people. Um, stop the priority on Switzerland. I don't think anyone's competing because no one wants... No, actually, people are competing. Okay, we'll keep that at a low... So we can discredit some people. In fact, discredit France. Yeah. Fuck you, France. Oh, that's not how that... Right, I needed to decrease opinion, not discredit. That's fine. It still helps, I guess. I'm feeling great. No one asked how you were feeling. <laughs> well. I'm happy to hear you're feeling great. I hope the literal demon you claim to have around you isn't feeling great, but... And narco liberals instead of state controlling the law enforcement, the courts, and the national defense, the different law systems shall be, should be provided by voluntarily founded private competitors. Money should be privately and competitively provided in an open market, and personal and economic activity should be regulated by the natural laws of the market and through private law rather than through politics. And caps. Um, we invented ANCAPs. Good shit, I guess. Or at least that's what I assume that means. They might have just changed the events in this in this mod. Um, convention over the Danish Straits. What does that do for me? Raider Group Doctrine. Da, da. Reform the Norwegian Colonial Army. Eh. Can't do any of those. I'm not really worried about that. Spain. Cool. Good shit. Norway, the real ANCAP. Maybe. I mean, already, a large portion of our population does not pay taxes. So, you, you might be joking, but it's actually a real possibility. We might have to up taxes soon, though. Nope, never mind. We're back. Um, jingoism would be nice. People... Yeah, but yeah. No, yeah. Jingoism. And Cap Chadway. Yeah. They're actually imaginary OCs. Well, at least you're honest. That's still, that's a little autistic, but... More liberal? 
No. <laughs> no. Oh, shit. 15% more liberal in this one place or all of middle strat? Uh, I guess this one would probably be less. I'm not going to do the math on that one. And cap Norway when? Hopefully soon. The moon never sets on the Norse Empire. Well, we're not Norse. We're good Christians. It's Norwegian Empire. It's actually a very, very important distinction. Gas the Denmark, maybe. Oh, look at that. Denmark already lost Schleswig and Holstein. But not both. It's not Schleswig-Holstein, like it normally is. They're separate. Interesting. Persona 5, another game I haven't played that I do want to play. I liked Persona 3 and 4. I didn't finish either of them because they're too fucking long, and I don't like them that much. They, get a little, they got a little boring. But I am interested to try it. Um, the UK took this part from the Hudson Bay Company. Well, you know, since the Hudson Bay Company is just nonsense, I guess I can't really uh, get too upset about that. The elections are finished. The Kong Partiet. Uh, we are now reactionary. React. Well, we're not reaction. We got a reactionary party in charge. Smallpox. Do what you can. Or, huh? What? We can kill a bunch of, uh, oh. Now, some of these are, some of those are good Norwegian people. No, we'll, we'll try and help. Um, now, now that we have reactionary in charge, we, we can build factories. Thank you. Let's, let's fund these ones, first of all. I'm gonna assume these capitalists maybe, maybe know what they're doing. Maybe they might, might be, uh, trying to build some things that are actually worthwhile. I'm not gonna hold my breath, but... No, maybe those are worthwhile. And you know what? You want to build something too? Sure. I'll just let them decide. Wine, despite the fact we don't have... Well, no, we do have fruit now. Interesting. We do have lumber as well. We do have... I don't know about glass. Fertilizer, I don't even know what it takes. The Yoruba Congress. Yoruba wants to be independent. Now, that kind of sucks, considering... Uh, Considering we just got them recently. Yeah, Oyo's not not stoked. No, no, they're not. That's fine. Who, who fucking cares, to be honest? We'll just kill them. I mean, we killed them to be able to take them over, so it's not like we couldn't kill them again. Is this a mod? Yes, it's HFM. I think it's in the description of the stream, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's in the description. It's in the title of the stream. But yes, yes, it is, in fact. Oh shit, I need to click back here. Okay. What does it do? Well, it's kind of like HPM, but then they also add some fucking strange autistic shit, like East India Company being a country underneath the UK, like Germany being a mess, like uh, this used to be a mess, but it's actually kind of solved itself. That's interesting. Like the Hudson Bay Company being its own thing. Um, just some, Just some weird stuff. Like England starting out with Washington instead of just colonizing it shortly after the game starts. Like these little Chinese places. I mean, just some weird stuff that I don't know if I agree with. But so far, the mod's actually going all right. Nothing too fucking wacky has happened. Let's invent railroads. We probably won't be able to build them anywhere. Because, as we've said, Norway is all mountains. Gas everything. I even maybe. We'll see. We'll see we'll see where this all goes. Um we need to sort of divvy up our troops here. We'll do this while we wait for our infamy to go down. What we're gonna do is we're gonna we're gonna have a home defense force. And we're gonna have a uh you know what? Let's um yeah, there's that force. Oh, but that's not gonna work. No, okay. This will be the force that stays in Madagascar. The smaller one goes back and comes together with the, uh... With the rest of what it needs. Also, there's some boats here. Okay, good. Yeah, we'll meet up with those. Cool. Nice. Nice! Kirby, on the other hand, is a game I've played. And it's pretty good. A lot of the Kirby games are pretty good. I especially like that one on the fucking Game Boy. The uh, Crystal Mirrors one. I was a big fan of that one. 
The United States has already destroyed Mexico. It's the year 1850. Dangerous ideas. Um, well, you know, don't worry about it. Uh, the United States is also at war with the UK. Uh, I think... Uh, yeah, is that right? I mean... Good luck, US. I'd actually prefer you to win this one. I'm not a big fan of the UK in general. You're weaker than them, and that's why I want you to win, because I'd like to disrupt the powers that be. That'd be nice. Um, at least give it a good sh uh, give a good fight, all right? What is this over, by the way? The British-American War, which the US is losing. Um, the UK wants all cores from the US, and Prussia wants reparations. Interesting. What was the war called? Just the British-American War. Yeah, okay. All British corps would include... Fucking Oregon and shit. Is this this mod or is this just this hap- It's- it wouldn't- It would include fucking part of Wyoming? Wow. Okay. Yeah, it looks like, uh... It looks like... The United States is about to lose a lot of land. Spain? Um, let's get him in. Wait, what? Spain. Increase? Thank you. Switzerland? Uh, decrease... France. 